afternoon. I'm Jeff of Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 2415 Northeast 24th Avenue here in Portland, Oregon. We're located in the basement at the uh, rear of the home in the basement. Next to the utility sink, we've got a four inch cast iron clean out. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water running currently, and I'm going to uh, zero out the camera counter here at the base of the cleanout uh, for an accurate length of the pipe. This will be what I refer to as the point of access here at the zero mark. And here we go. It appears that the uh, line transitions right here at, we'll call it 14 feet out to 4 inch concrete pipe. You know, I apologize. I think I need to make a correction here. Uh, this type of pipe, it looked like concrete back there. I, I actually think it's cast iron. I'll be able to confirm that here in a moment. Likely it will transition to something else. Okay, this is what I was looking for here. Alright, at 30, we'll call it 34 feet out. It transitions here from 4 inch cast iron pipe which I believe this is concrete. It's covered with roots so I'll be able to confirm that here in a moment. It does look like concrete pipe. And unfortunately we do have a uh, pretty good sized root intrusion through the joint here at the transition. Keep on pushing here. Whenever there's root intrusion, I always recommend uh, repair. That's a very large root intrusion. Roots are continuing still. The bottom of the pipe here is looking pretty red, so this is a. Uh, I actually think it's terracotta pipe, and the, the whole thing is just completely encased with roots. And it's kind of hard to see what's underneath the whole bottom of the full line is red, though, so it would appear to be terracotta. Now, unfortunately, from the cast iron transition out to at least this point here, it is 100% intruded with roots. The good thing is, and I hope I don't speak too soon, but so far, uh, apart from the roots, the line is actually draining out quite nicely. I haven't seen any bellies yet. Hopefully we don't. do some locates. This looks like the connection to the main lateral. It's very hard to see on the left side of the screen if that is a shadow or the actual uh, connection to the main. If that's an opening or a shadow, it's kind of hard to see. 
try to push it over. Yeah, and this is stopping the camera up right here. It's a really hard T connection. So I'll go look it here and uh, see where the camera heads out. This does appear to be the main lateral, though. And we'll get it drained out. Uh, but again, the good thing in this situation, although the line is totally shot with roots uh, from the cast iron transition all the way to the main, that's 100% root intrusion throughout, uh, I do highly recommend a full line replacement of the terracotta pipe based, uh, from the cast iron transition out to the main lateral. Uh, but because this line drains well, it still has proper slope and grade, uh, it's a great candidate for sleeving, and it's a trenchless uh, repair system that you don't have to dig, and they can sleeve the old pipe uh, after you get the roots and everything cleaned out. Uh, so hopefully that is a, uh, the, uh, a, an option that will work here. Otherwise, uh, obviously, I would recommend traditional excavation to deal with it either way. Uh, the line is uh, completely shot at this point, so... Alrighty, I did a locate and I uh, did a marking here. I just did a, a white X out on the uh, concrete. We're about three feet out into the street on the northeast 24th. And uh, uh, from this point on out is the city's responsibility. Actually, starting a couple, a few feet back from this is the uh, city's responsibility. Uh, so I recommend submitting this to the city so they are aware of the uh, root intrusion. And again, this is a very tough spot to see if it's the main lateral connection or just a, a, a shadow or a shadowy 90 degree turn. It's very difficult to see. But at this point, we're out in the street anyways, and it's the city's responsibility. markings every so often. And every uh, 15 feet here, so I'll do another marking right here. And then I'll do one at about uh, oh, 50 feet, and then uh, a last one at the transition. Okay, I just did a, a white arrow. We're in the middle of the sidewalk. Well, thus far, the uh, repair is all under concrete, uh, which makes it even uh, a better candidate for doing a pipe sleeve or something trenchless anyway. Okay, I'm going to do another marking right here. It'll just be another arrow and then uh, I'll do a, a white T where the cast iron transition's at. Okay, I did another marking here. We're about a, a foot to the right of the big front staircase, the concrete stairs in front. Uh, it's kind of a tricky spot to locate because of the stairs and the hard angle. I, I was getting seven feet deep here, but this is a spot where I would recommend relocating just because it's, uh, it's a real tricky spot. Yeah, I was getting seven feet deep here. I'm going to pull back here to uh, 34 feet and do my final marking. All right, uh, I will mark this with a green T. There's an X, a line X in the street, three feet beyond the curb at 11 feet deep. The other markings uh, in between the start and finish are arrows and then the, uh, the starting of the repair will be a white T here. Okay, I did my final marking here. I'm getting 8 feet deep, uh, about 5 feet in front of the house. <laughs> 